Hey everybody, it's your buddy Beard Grizzly, but I'm not the important one today. That honor goes to Eva Levante, the seemingly kind woman that makes us look good. Or at least tries to. I don't know about some of your shade as Eva. Like seriously, Undercity clashes with my chromosome. Eva is one artistic lady, as her grimoire suggests. Eva Levante provided services to the tower long before she actually took a place in it. Guardians would call for her work again and again, looking for marks of distinction, both new and old, and she began to craft emblems and shaders for the bold and discerning. These days, she's set up a shop in the tower, taking quiet pride in the guardians who train, fight, and fall under her signs. She always seems to greet you with a smile and a kind remark, certainly someone uplifting to come back to after a long time away from home. Unless she asks you for a 6420 again. No one wants to read a document from the UN about peaceful uses of outer space, Eva. Now is not the time. If you look into Eva's past, you might wonder how she's able to stay so chipper. These are the traditions of the city, Guardian. We share them with you so you might better understand those whom you protect. To live is to experience loss, Eva said. My husband and child are dead. My friends, my neighbors, the children I watched over on our road to the city all gone now. The festival celebrates their lives with both joy and sorrow. A fine tradition for the city, Ikora Ray replied. What meaning does it hold for the Guardians? A bit of light in a dark time. That is enough. We have greater concerns, and this is no time for games. All Guardians were lost once, said Eva. We honor your spirits as well. Evidently, she watched her friends, family, children, everyone close to her die as they were fleeing to the city. She very well may feel alone, which isn't depressing at all. She is, however, the reason for the season and why we celebrate the Festival of the Lost. The festival symbolizes our remembrance of the past to bring in the future and honor the dead and the lost. Not everyone sees it this way. If you look at Eris remembering her dead companions, her lost ghost, her eyes, and... Well, the ship we had a hand in blowing up. Oops. Eva seems to have a bit more to her than just outfitting our guardians with shaders and emblems. Seriously, listen to some of the patrol dialogue she has and compare it to the description of the patrol itself. Guardians, I am looking for some scans near this location. Sending specifics for your ghosts. This one on Venus is called Kilowatt Hours, and it has you go and scan a device back from the Golden Age. And that Golden Age technology happens to be, well, electric lines going to a building. Eh. But what does an artist need with something like this? Or how about this one on Mars, called a series of tubes, where you have to establish a connection with a cabal defense network. What does an artist need with that? It's not like it's unexpected. Everyone in the tower needs to help out in some way, but... Holy crap, Eva, just what are you doing? You might recall a group of guardians called the Hidden. They're so hidden, in fact, they don't have their own Grimoire card or anything. They're a group led by Ikora and her spy, so we're led to believe. The only other member we know of is Eris, whom is grounded as she lost her ghost. Is it so much to think that Eva might be a member as well? Seriously, just think about it for a second. A sweet old lady hosting a shop full of trinkets that invite powerful guardians to shape their appearance to something that defines them. She's basically the equivalent to a scout at a high school football match, seeing who's deserving of the next scholarship. She sees guardians come and go during the festival and other points in the year. She converses with them, discerns their potential as they come back from missions, and furthermore can know their personalities by the items they wear and adorn themselves with. Not to mention she wants Cabal defense data, for crap's sake. Okay, that might be a little far-fetched. She's probably just selling shaders and emblems, and that's the end of it. Speaking of her shaders, some of you might recall in year one, she barely cycled through different shaders for us to buy. It was rare, if ever, that she would have something different, and when she did, it was like Christmas. Only not because Bungie took our loot cable. It wasn't until after last year's festival that she started to sell new shaders, really. The festival's main pull is to gather sacks of candy, and then Eva gives you a treat bag for your trouble. Well, maybe the candies that would help out with her shaders and emblems to give her different colors and shades. But wait, the only way to get these candies is to go around and shoot things, and you only get candies when things have died, and it isn't just Fallen or Vex or Hive, it's fellow guardians as well. They all have shaders and different armor on to supply different pigments. Not to mention some of the flavor texts on the candies. Salted sweet? A secret ingredient? Is it the tears of the fallen after you shoot them in the crucible? Splice drops? Like splicers? Unchocolate? With no sweet at all? Is it tart? Is it tart like your souls become and super black as your final ascension into the madness as it's wearing guardians on your clothing and eating the flesh of your enemies? 
The kindly sweet facade that Eva has on in her little secluded spot in the tower is only there to lull you into a false sense of security. But it's too late, Guardians, because you're already wearing your friends. But you won't stop killing for her, will you? You'll just keep playing your part as her pawn and getting revenge for her dead family and friends. The promise of loot and looking different is enough for you to keep killing for her. You've already sold your soul to this mad witch. Happy Festival of the Lost, you sick fuck!